if you get to the spinner first, you slow down the enemy team a ton. So the rest of your teammates that are jumping in, they can paint mid like we were doing for free because they have to sit on the tower and wait for checkpoints and stuff. This is very rough, but if we're looking at what we need to control, I'm just going to number it just to give somewhat of a visual of like what you need to control in order to win the game. When we get the wipe here, because of the timing window, we can skip controlling three and we probably can skip controlling four. So we probably can look to start taking space here. But if either we look to use our crab on top of spinner, but we can start fighting for like this area of the map without having to use specials. Because we ended up controlling this part and we were like kind of here and then we had to use specials in order to fight past this and because we had to use our specials early that's what ended up limiting our push and so yeah that's what that's why we stalled the 24 versus getting a ko completely tetra charger splash machine it's pretty well balanced i low-key kind of like v charger i think if they do something with vacuum or we better understand how to use it as a community i like this kit i think is i think this is a really cool kit we played with v charger very early on until firepin came out and i i liked it for a lot of pushes on uh offense but these pairings tetra brush i think is really nice the, this team's definitely going to be a lot more aggressive uh, not getting wiped is going to be really important and especially on a map like this if charger's the last one up they're effectively not alive you know like they can go for maybe one pick before they have to jump out or swim away but they can't really hold a lot of ground good discipline from these two weapons to make sure at the very least only two people are down at any given point the way that this map works in a lot of cases there's going to be a fight for mid at the beginning and then fight for mid but when a team's pushing to the first checkpoint it's like it's basically like this versus this kind of if there is a fight for first checkpoint at all and then the interesting thing about TC specifically is that once tower starts moving onto the plot, you have to have an answer for someone up here. If you're pushing, we have like a sloshing machine as a main weapon that can do a good job because you can usually get the tower to like this area. If you can either get picks up here and clear it out or take control ourselves, uh, that's usually when we can start looking to actually KO. With Tetras, a lot of times people are going to look to drop down these sides at the very beginning and just start getting under these ledges of the early pressure. I do like that we're like hugging this wall and I think we can probably space ourselves back and forth with rolls to better space out against the brush. All in all good. One thing I'd probably like to see from our team is like immediately taking space. Getting good paint around mid is important, but we wanna have presence on their plat if we can. If you can get early pressure behind the spinner, you're gonna stall the enemy team being able to move forward and take good positions. Cause we're popping a crab here, but we could still stall their team in the same way with just being a little bit faster. We're popping two specials here when we probably could have got away with it just by moving a little bit faster, but I would like to see us prioritize this after we get our picks. We can either jump across using the, the spinner fin or we can take the block up here. And like moving forward's good, but again, like, you know, we have two people on tower, which is unnecessary. We know where the last two people on this map are. And like machine could already be contesting this if we pushed with like that reef slider. We're having the fight at a special disadvantage at this point because we have used all of our specials early on and like a 29 push isn't bad, but this could have been a way better play. If y'all are a team that play often and y'all are often like scrimming and playing in tournaments, I would definitely look to work toward your overall team special usage. So when you initially get the wipe and y'all are positioned over here, that's a pretty fresh wipe. So you, you have time to like start holding this kind of position. If you get to the spinner first, you slow down the enemy team a ton. So the rest of your teammates that are jumping in, they can paint mid like we were doing for free because they have to sit on the tower and wait for checkpoints and stuff. This is very 
rough, but if we're looking at what we need to control, I'm just going to number it just to give somewhat of a visual of like what you need to control in order to win the game. When we get the wipe here, because of the timing window, we can skip controlling three and we probably can skip controlling four. So we probably can look to start taking space here. But if either we look to use our crab on top of spinner, but we can start fighting for like this area of the map without having to use specials because we ended up controlling this part and we were like kind of here. And then we had to use specials in order to fight past this. And because we had to use our specials early, that's what ended up limiting our push. And so, yeah, that's why, that's why we stalled the 24 versus getting a KO completely. But don't throw yourself out where like you're wasting all of your rolls and you're going to pin yourself into a corner. Because you can actively choose not to do that in this kind of scenario. That's tough. I would probably rather position myself using this paint versus this paint just because if you're the enemy team and you're moving this way like you're just naturally going to paint this after and if we lean closer to this right side we do have the option to drop off you know if we can attack the tower directly or if there's someone else that's like painting in mid that we can look for an opportunity to to single them out i'm so unsure based off of our positioning of like what idea we're going for but if we if we are going to go down this route be over on this angle so that the second that we see them and we know we're in a good range to take the fight, like we can immediately start taking space over here. I think we were initially looking for a play on this brush, which I don't know why we we're this close. And I think we got a little bit thrown off by the the shots here and we kind of panicked because we had to do something. So it's unfortunate. We probably potentially could have got a trade there. But based off of the information that was present, this doesn't fully make sense to me. But your teammates are able to get specials. Again, we're using Crab and Booyah Bomb at the same time. I just... I don't know if it's actively needed. Nice. Our overall value of the specials that we get have been a little bit weak. And I think we can help strengthen the value of, like, our Crabs and Booyah Bombs by staying alive longer, by, you know, stalling out a little bit longer and giving your teammates opportunities to be able to work with you. It often feels like we're on different wavelengths and these types of uh, sick plays are what's allowing us to outplay the enemy. I mean, we want to incorporate our, our team and our game plan a little bit and... an interesting way i like the i like the play around the uh spawn armor there i think mechanically i think you played well i think your tetras are, are very solid the biggest thing for you personally and we can go over like a couple of team things but i think we need to work on our creativity i think is something that is going to be very important as we continue to play the game when wipe the team and like you end up painting through mid the idea of you taking like getting onto their plot and start contesting onto their plot like there's a nice timing window there and i love the idea but we see this person moving in and this person also knows that you're on this wall because of the way just based off of the map and the information you've provided and we're giving them an opportunity to trade and again we're not trying to like move sideways or anything we're just like immediately holding forward and rolling and jumping at them and we don't want to just roll forward at someone because it should have been a trade there's a chance you could potentially lose it um and i think there's better ways but even after we get that pick we we try to put ourselves into the scenarios where we think that we're like stealth but the enemy team knows where we're at you can still mask what you want to do when you're like if you're in this scenario if you're sitting behind the spinner and the rest of the enemy team is like you know they're moving forward this way there's so many ways to approach the enemy team. Again, you can go over top on this side of the wall. You can go over top on the little, like the middle part of it or over here. You can climb up these walls and get onto the grates. You can, you know, look to take space over here and just take a very off angle and just stall them over. You know, you can sit over here and stall them. And if they try to start playing around spinner to contest your team, like they can't do that comfortably because they have to worry about the person literally right behind them. Try to stretch things out a little bit more. It's not not just roll forward, take fight. Hopefully we win because we have better aim or hopefully we win because we're a little bit faster. Um, there, there's more interesting ways that will. To kind of approach the game off angles 
we can look to use like auto bombs. So like, you know, use utility to help us out. We use special a couple of times in some really interesting spots. So I like that. I like, you know, we use the special so that we could play around the enemy spawn armor when they're spawning into this open area. So that was really cool. That's a creative play that I really like, but also the ability to stall and either work with our team or just hold hold a specific area and it just seemed like we we took the most obvious answer in front of us and in certain cases it wasn't a problem and we we didn't get punished here but we will get punished in the future i want us to think like the enemy so yeah that, that's the biggest thing for you i, I would say um, I think your me mechanics are really, really good. Uh, for your team, I think your overall speed, I mean, this is advice that basically every team, even high level teams, are able to work on playing faster and being more speedy. So yeah, so like part of it is like, I want y'all to play faster, but also just play at the same speed. And if your teammates are painting and like slowly behind, I want you to be more focused on like the stall type of tactic and like slow down so your teammates are in a position to be able to assist you. The other thing that I think y'all really need to work on is a uh, special coordination, I'm just going to say. But there was a lot of times where we used a crab and we used a booyah bomb at the same time and we only needed one. If we played faster, we actually probably don't need any of them. There's spots where we can use our specials and accomplish a overall task. And, and the whole, this whole thing of like, how do we KO the enemy team? We have to go through these phases. And if we're fighting for spinner, how do we accomplish that with the, the tools that we have? And sometimes we don't always think about the game in this respect. And we end up being very wasteful with our specials, which again, our mechanics carry us in this scenario. And this is something that every team does poorly. I'll, I say this and then I'll go play in a scrim or a tournament and I'll mess this up. You know, the coordination takes time. It takes a lot of effort and it takes thinking about it depending on the map, depending on the mode, depending on the specific circumstances, but just something to consider as you all are working because there's just a lot of wasted specials. I think y'all could have KO'd if you uh, use your resources a little bit wiser. So yeah. Good stuff. Thank you for the replay code. Well, if there's again, if there's something that you prefer, then we can specify that. Ooh, 20 bomb. Nice.